Hello and welcome to Let's Just Bake It. Now with Mother's Day just around the corner, I thought this might be a nice opportunity to bake mum a cake. So the plan today. Um, going to have a two layered sponge cake with uh, icing in the filling and also a smooth icing on the top, a rolled out icing. Uh, and on top of that, we're going to make up some roses out of icing. Sounds good, doesn't it? So let's just take a look at the ingredients we're going to need for this cake. So here we have the ingredients for the cake mix. Now I've gone for six ounces of self-raising flour. We're going to have three eggs, six ounces of butter or margarine, six ounces of caster sugar, we're going to put some flavouring on as well. We've got a uh, strawberry flavouring, vanilla extract, and also a little bit of colouring as well, some red colouring, uh, and a little bit of salt as well, just a sort of a pinch of salt. So to start with, we tip our sugar into the bowl, and then our butter. And then we just want to mix these in together to uh, get a sort of a, a creamy, buttery, sugary, smooth mix. Okay. So next thing is we want to put in eggs. So we've got three eggs this one. Okay, and then we'll mix the eggs in. Break the yolks up first. And mix that all in together. Okay, that's nearly done. Okay, so we're gonna add some vanilla essence in here now. About a teaspoonful. It. and just mix that all in as well so now with our dry mix our flour uh, I'm going to add in a little bit of salt but um, there's probably sort of no more than about that really just to put that in there uh, also something else I'm going to add in there as well which is optional really is uh, some baking powder and I'm going to put about a teaspoonful of that into that flour mix. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Let's give it one little mix around. And then we'll add this to the wet mix. Right, so back to the wet mix now. We want to add the flour uh, mix into that one. Um, and it's quite fine anyway, but just to make sure that uh, we're not getting any lumps in there. Uh, I'm going to sieve it into the mix. We'll sieve it in and mix it up stage at a time. Let's just mix that bit in. It's looking good. It's about ready, I think. Okay, excellent. So we're going to divide our mix up and put it into a tin. Sometimes I've lined these tins, but what I'm going to do today is just put butter around them. Now the cake mix, I want to put it into the tin, but I'm going to divide this mixture in two. So I'm going to weigh this out. Okay, so I know the bowl itself weighs six ounces. So taking it off from that measurement, uh, it looks like it's 26 ounces, so 13 ounces in each. 
Right, okay, so let's put some cake mix in the tin and then we'll remeasure it. So looking back at that now with the weight of the bowl taken off, we're, we're about there really. So I think that'll do. So I'm going to try and get the mix as flat and smooth as possible. Sometimes it might help us just, just give the tin a bit of a shake. And you can see it sort of flattens it all out. Okay, so we're going to put half the cake mix into the oven in a minute. Um, but firstly, I've just uh, purchased a bake leveling belt. And you may be wondering what that's for. Well, cakes do tend to rise in the middle and we want a nice flat cake. So what this should do is help that level out. What happens is that the tin heats up around the side so you get the outside of the cake cooking. And as it continues to cook into the middle, it then raises the middle section up, which is okay. But if you want to put a layer of icing on top of it, it's a bit of a nuisance. So by putting one of these belts around here, what you do is you soak this in water first, put it around there. It keeps the sides cool so you get an even cook over the cake. So I've got a bottle of lukewarm water there. What you need to do is put that in there and let it soak up. Just leave it soaking in there for a couple of minutes. Okay, so you don't want this really dripping. <laughs> so just give it a bit of a squeeze. Okay, in there. bring this in. Put this around the tin. Like so, and then just a little bit tighter there. And that's ready to go into the oven and that should stop the cake from bulging in the middle. So just a word of warning, just have to be a bit cautious using this. Uh, as you can see it states do not use temperatures that exceed 180 degrees centigrade, which equates to about a gas marked four. Now with this belt on you don't want the gas any more than four, but I'm going to turn it down to three just to be really on the safe side. Place a tin in the oven. Although this cake mix is getting baked on a low temperature, I would still recommend checking it regularly. I'm going to take a look at the skin in about 10 minutes time. So this first sandwich cake I think is ready. Yep, that's coming out clean. I'm very pleased with that. So we'll leave that to cool and uh, we'll get the other mix into the oven. Now we'll take a look at the remainder of the mix as I want to add some flavouring and some colouring to it. So the remainder of the mix now I've got some strawberry flavouring to add into that. So with this I'm going to put about half a teaspoonful. That should do for that. We don't want, don't want to overpower it. I'll just mix that all in together. Then we've got some red colouring. Again, we don't want to put too much of this in because the idea that I'm hoping to achieve is to have a pink layer. So let's put some of that on the spoon. And we'll start off mixing that in. And this is really just going to be down to visual, really. It's looking pretty good. You can see it's changing colour, going pinky. And I think really that's probably about all we're going to need in that. Otherwise it'll be too much. So I'm going to put the second sponge into the oven now. But this time I'm going to line the tin with some baking paper as the first cake came out was a little bit sticky to the tin. So again I'm going to run butter into the inside of the tin. This is now actually to help the baking paper stick to the side and the bottom of the tin. Get the bottom part or 
put that inside there. Just run this around the side. And we'll put our cake mix in there. Okay, this one's ready to come out now. Excellent. Right, so let's just leave that one to cool. Okay, so this one should have cooled down enough now, so let's just get this out of the tin. Okay, so I just want to turn this over, so let's get a plate on there. Let's run that over and we lift the base off. Yeah, that came off a bit easier. And remove the baking paper. Oh, lovely. Now I just want to make up a base for my cake. Um, could go around, but I've gone for a square one here. Um, but yeah, just a bit of cardboard, and I'm going to cover it with uh, tin foil. So we'll stick that over there. Okay, fold that over. Fold that back over. Just to sort of uh, neaten it off, just fold this in of itself. Okay, and then once you tape it, just tape it across. Okay. With the ends here, just fold those over. And again, just tape it across. Okay. And there's your cake board. So I think that's turned out really well nice and spongy and also level now we can put these two halves together and we've got let's turn it over some strawberry flavored icing which we'll place on there just smooth that round Okay, and then we'll turn this over and just place that one on top. Okay, so we're going to put some ice on the top there, but first you're going to put a bit of marzipan on there. I'm not going to put a very thick layer on there. Um, I know mum isn't too with marzipan so we just break off a small amount okay and then with a rolling pin we'll just roll it out thinly now this cake is about the same size as this plate so I'm going to use this as a template to cut out the icing and the marzipan okay so we'll turn that upside down Just trim the edges off. I need to stick the marzipan down to the cake and I'm going to use some uh, strawberry jam but uh, it's a bit sort of jellyfied at the moment so just to make it a bit easier to spread I'm just going to put it in the microwave just for a few seconds. Uh, uh, 12 seconds should be enough. So let's just uh, place the jam on top. Okay, that should do nicely. Let's lift our very thin layer of marzipan up and just place that over the top. I've broken a bit there, but it doesn't matter too much because your icing's going to cover over the top of it anyway. Okay, so let's get some icing. Okay, again we'll work that together, just work it in between the hands and it starts to soften up, makes it a bit more easy to work with. Let's roll this out.
Okay, and then we'll cut this circle out from the plate. Okay. And I'll place that on top of the cake. Just as easy to put it over to the roller and then roll it on top of the cake. Okay, just push it down at the sides. I'm now just going to roll out some icing to run around the sides of the cake. Okay, so just run a bit more jam around the sides. And then just run the icing around the side. And then with some water, just go around the sides, just wet it. And the reason for this is so that we can blend the sides to the top of the icing. So with your fingers, just work the side of the icing into the top of the icing, sort of blend it in. Now for part of the decoration on the cake, we want to make up some roses out of icing. I'm just going to put a bit of a dip into the middle of that. So we've got some red colouring. What I'm trying to do is get some different shades of the pink, um, as these petals will not always be the same colour. We'll mix that in. You can put like vinyl gloves on because uh, sometimes you can get a bit of staining from this so just watch uh, your skin. It's not going to cause any harm. Just going to have some red fingers. Just keep folding it over. Fold it in so you get a nice even colouring of the icing. Okay, so there we go. We've got sort of three different shades of uh, icing there. So what we want to do now is roll these out into sort of a bit of a sausage shape. Second one there, there's the most bigger. So one, two, three. Okay, so just cut these up, don't have to be too precise. Gonna have the darker ones for the inside of the rose. So just add the cut up portions of icing onto a tray or a mat with some baking paper on it so they don't stick and then put some baking paper over the top and flatten them into the icing just getting a, a spoon just push them down and flatten the icing out into small round discs. Okay, just our discs. We just want to smooth the edges off. 
So just with your finger, just go around, smooth the edges off. And this will turn them into a nice petal shape. Not to be too precise because some um, petals aren't always circular. And there are your petals. So to make the petal, we'll start off with these ones. We'll just fold it round. We'll get another one. And then fold that round. I want to just tuck it inside and fold that round. Okay. Then we'll get one of these ones. Put it over the top and fold that round. Tuck that inside and fold that round. Tuck that inside and we'll fold that one round. And then just tuck this one inside, fold that round. Okay, and you can see how this is working out now. And we'll go over a couple of lighter ones. Put that on the outside. Get another one, just tuck it inside. Okay, and we'll get another one, just tuck it inside. And we do one more and just tuck that inside as well okay so there is your rose to squeeze it in a little bit at the bottom okay and then we just want to bend these out ones over outside a little bit And you can trim up the bottom area. And there is your first rose. As you add to this, just going to make some fallen petals. So just get a bit of icing. Okay, so you roll it out to sort of a a carrot style shape, really. Okay. Then with a knife or spatula, just push it down about halfway along. Just put a bit more on that one. Okay. What we'll do is just fold that over like so so to finish it off we just want to put our roses and petals onto the cake so to help make them stick okay I'm just going to put water over the top of this Okay.
And there we go. I know mum loves roses, so I'm hoping she's going to love this cake as well. If you've uh, loved watching this uh, video and uh, seeing the making of this cake, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Once again, thank you very much for watching.